Welcome back to the channel and today I'm gonna be trying to create the same creation in two different games and compare it to a creation in a third game. So last week if you saw my Instruments of Destruction workshop video, the last creation in that video showcased a demonstration of what was supposed to be simulating rubber wheels. And the way it did that was by creating a bunch of wheel sections or panels all in a circle and having them all independently attached to their own piece of suspension so then when you ride over ledges and uneven terrain uh the individual parts of the wheel can kind of flex and bend so i thought it'd be fun to come into scrap mechanic and uh give this creation a try and then also jump into trail makers and build the same exact type of wheel and just see what it feels like compared to the original Instruments of Destruction creation. All right, so I think I got most of the necessary building parts and uh, I'm gonna build the wheels themselves, like the outer part of the wheels out of this concrete slab block. Now it is kind of heavy, but it does have the advantage of being one of the highest friction blocks. So I think when it comes to creating a wheel, we're gonna want something that can have some decent friction on the ground. So looking at the original Instruments of Destruction creation, we are at a bit of a building disability here in uh, Scrap Mechanic because because our build grid is much more limited than that of Instruments of Destruction. In Instruments of Destruction, the build mode can allow you to go at all kinds of more gradual angles, so it is going to be much harder to create um, a, a rounded wheel in it in scrap mechanic than it would be in instruments of destruction but i'm gonna see I'm, I'm gonna try my best to deal with my limitations here and try to create uh try to create the roundest wheel i can now the easy thing would just be to stop at the plus sign but i think there is a way for me to add at least another four points of contact in between these ones but it's going to require a little bit more nuance so now if i add another set here and then i build off in the other direction what i should be able to do is add a controller and and with this controller, I can set this bearing to 45 degrees. And then when it's off the lift, now you can see, at least from this perspective, this looks like a much rounder wheel. Now it does have the weird side effect of technically just having two separate wheel contact points next to each other, but all in all, they should even out. And then it's gonna be a matter of uh, just attaching these to a base and then experimenting with different suspension stiffnesses to see what kind of effects we're gonna get. And actually the way that this is, I think it might be worth it to make these um, three blocks wide. Oh yeah, that's gonna be a much smoother area of uh, contact. Really closes in the gaps by doing this. Did I just really build all of this out of the <laughs> plastic blocks instead of the concrete blocks like I said I was going to do? Ah, oh, I totally forgot. All right, there we go. Much higher friction version. All right, so I will save this as the rubber wheel. And now I spawn four of these things and attach them to something. Now I'm just gonna make the entire base out of uh, these concrete as well. It's gonna be kind of nice to have at least a little bit of weight so we can really put the suspension to the test. All right, now the only issue I'm anticipating is uh, the steering of these. I'm going to have to give them some uh, distance away from the body because I feel like if I steer these, they're going to steer into the body of us because these wheels are so wide. All right, here we go. Wheel. Oh, wait, what? Why does that not let me weld it there? This doesn't make any sense to me. I can weld it here, but I can't weld it there. Is it because the bearing is on here? If I don't have the bearing, now it works. Okay. What if I put the bearing there? All right, that's a weird little thing, weird little uh, issue, but uh, it's over. I figured out how to overcome it, so. All right, wheel number two, wheel number three, and wheel number four. All right, all that's left is to hook up the wheels and the steering. All right, let's see how this thing feels. Whoa, oh, that was kind of cool. All right, uh, right, let's... Oh boy. Oh, I gotta probably turn the engine up and also rotate the wheels in the right direction. There we go. Turn the engine up a little bit. All right, here we are. So I have not changed the settings. These are at minimum settings right now, I'm pretty sure. Now this looks really weird. This is definitely looking kind of weird. It's almost like they're just floppy, like they're kind of slapping the ground a little bit, the way that they're just like bleh, bleh, bleh. At least once it starts spinning fast, it just kind of looks like just, uh, uh, flippers just flapping on the ground. It works surprisingly well right now. I thought the width of the wheels and the separate panels was gonna be kind of weird, but you know what we need? We need some, um, we need some off-roading. And also, let me just bump this up to max power because I feel like things are gonna get a little wonky here. You know what? That wasn't really max power. Let's go really max power. And which direction are we gonna go? Oh, 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 yeah, oh, baby. This direction. <laughs> All right, just ramp it up slowly. If I go too fast, I have way too much torque. Oh my goodness. Look at this. 
Look at this. All right, see, max power. Just scrap mechanic was not built for max power. There's not a lot you can do in max power scrap mechanic without just running into problems. All right, here we are. Uh, I think it's now it's time to switch over to an electric engine. This should give us a much more stable, uh, yeah, much more stable velocity. I think I need to make this thing heavier. I'm not seeing nearly, oh, actually, no, that, that looks pretty good. This actually does look pretty good. We really got to put it to a test here. Here we go. This is the test here. I feel like I needed to give myself a little bit more ground clearance, but let's see how this works. We should have decent friction. You can see it trying really hard. This is really steep for this test. This is this is hard mode test. Oh, no way. Oh, no way. It grips so well. You see that? You see it going over the corners? This is working really well in Scrap Mechanic, actually. I kind of feel like this is almost working better. We could improve this by quite a bit, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I could narrow my wheelbase a little bit and I could probably raise my uh, my center of mass a little bit so I'm, I'm not so low riding on the ground. I think this could turn into a decent rock crawler. Here, let's see how this one goes. Yeah, they just grab in so good. Like, I honestly feel like this setting, the low uh, stiffness on the suspension, I think this might be the optimal setting. Like, I can't imagine going stiffer is gonna make this any better. It just kind of, it just conforms to the terrain so well with this low stiffness. All right, I'm gonna make a couple of these modifications and see if I can't improve the performance of this, even though the performance was already great. All right, here is the new and improved version, I hope. Uh, a little bit, obviously, more ground clearance. Uh, the wheels are also a little bit narrower, so they're not going to be super, super wide like they were before. Let's see how this feels now. Should be much less susceptible to bottoming out. Oh, yeah. There you go. There you go. That looks good. That actually looks really good. This is satisfying to watch. All right. I mean, the down climb is not going to be nearly as impressive as the up climb. But it's still, it's still as satisfying to watch them compress. All right, out of curiosity, with the new modifications, I got to go back to this original wall and just see if it feels any different. Oh, we're still running that same weird bounce. The front and the back wheels are both hitting a wall at the same exact time, which I think is messing it all up because the whole vehicle gets pushed up at the same time. Here we go. There we go. Pretty much the same, almost the same exact performance, really. Yeah, I love seeing those wheels flex like that. That's awesome. All right, well, I gotta say the scrap mechanic version of this is an awesome success. Wasn't hard to build at all. Let's hop over into Trail Makers now and see what the experience is gonna be like in that game. All right, here we are in Trail Makers. We have a couple of nice little test rocks over here, as well as though we have like a whole rocky section over there. There's some pretty good testing zones for this. Let's get this wheel built first. What do we have at our disposal in Trail Makers compared to scrap mechanic? So obviously the big thing is going to be the straight suspension here. The only thing about this is this is really small in comparison to the one in both Instruments of Destruction and in Scrap Mechanic. We could easily just double it up like that, which I just might have to do. Um, but Trail Makers has a very similar build limitation. Like Scrap Mechanic is um, building on this 90 degree grid. So I really can't build much farther outside of uh, 90 degrees, so I might have to try to do something different or something similar to what I did in Scrap Mechanic, where the wheels start together and they kind of like offset from each other. Actually, no, there's another solution to this. If I make a cross, I can use this steering hinge to create a 45 degree angle here. But what are we going to use for the wheel pad, the actual like rubber of the wheel? I mean, it's a rubber wheel. It's going to have, it needs to have some type of rubber on it. So one of the things that uh, Trailmakers has introduced relatively recently, I don't, I, I haven't used it very much Oh, here it is, a friction pad. So if I put a one by three block down here and then I add friction pads like this, I think that's gonna work as uh, some nice rubber for a wheel. Ooh, I just realized an issue uh, with its design because I need this wheel to also rotate from somewhere, right? But the problem with that is the only thing that can rotate like a wheel might be either the rotating servo if we want an electric style or the helicopter engine if we want a gas engine style when we're comparing to the scrap mechanic. And I think we want an electric style for this, but the problem with that is this doesn't have an actual center point. This is a two by two. So the way I've currently have this wheel set up is not going to work out 
in my favor that way. Maybe there's a modification I can make. Yeah, this might actually work. This might work here. Man, this just goes to show you how different the building is between these games. Just the method for building these wheels is just, I'm, it's just a completely different experience. All right, this is definitely weird. This is a little bit awkward, but let's see what this feels like. So I'm using this altitude sensor to trigger all of these uh, steering hinges, which are meant to even out yeah, like just like that. That's not too bad. My only issue with this is the way that this is designed right now um, is you can see that the ones that have the steering hinge are an extra block compared to the ones that don't have a steering hinge, but they're also going into the diagonal. So they do lose a little bit of uh, distance, but I don't know. Is it worth it to maybe extend this down another block? No, that actually doesn't work because now these two blocks are welded together. It actually happened to work out in my favor not doing that. I might actually I have to just go with what I had. It's not too bad. Like when you look at it, it doesn't honestly look that bad. Considering everything's gonna be compressing, I think this could work. Let's at least give it a try. This is gonna rotate 360 degrees. I don't know what speed yet, but it is super easy, or it should be super easy to just copy and paste this thing. There we go, one to the front, one to the back, one over here, and then one back up here. All right, uh-oh, something is wrong with this. All of these steering hinges have to be reversed. All right, did I fix it? It looks like I fixed it. Oh, whoa, boy. Oh, this is weird. This, hold on. These have to have hold position on, and the ones on the left side have to have the opposite controls. So now, okay, calm down. <laughs> A wheelie machine apparently so i'm gonna add some whoa okay these are just way too fast right now let's adjust the speeds let's go like 25 percent okay that might be a little bit a little bit too little it's not perfect it's because of the build grid issue you know i gotta do the thing <gasps> no there's an easier way to do this maybe as much as i hate to do it <laughs> i'm just i'm starting over with a new set of wheels i don't like these wheels you could see when i was rolling there i was like going up and down and that was because of that issue i pointed out before where every other prong is slightly longer just because of that steering hinge so i'm gonna have to do a different method here for these wheels all right i think i figured it out i think i found the magic solution here. So now every single prong of the wheel is going to be attached to a steering hinge. And then on the end of it, to prevent these from welding together, I'm going to use pipe pieces like this. So now when we spawn this in, you should see what I mean. Yeah, see, now they separate out, but 45 degrees is not the right amount of degrees. I need to technically go half that. There we go. That looks better. So now this gets copied onto that side of the wheel, which then gets copied onto that side of the wheel, which then gets copied onto that side of the wheel. And now it's broken. That's because I got to route the, uh, the sensor into all the other ones. There we go. So now that looks more like the wheel I'm going for. Oh no, structure is too complex. I can't make four of these wheels because of the complexity limit, which is a great thing that somewhere in my mods, there is a complexity mod. There we go. So let's just up the complexity limit to a thousand. And now we are at, wow, 711 complexity. The original complexity limit is 700. This is uh, exceeding that by 11 blocks or 11 complexity because these uh these suspensions i'm pretty sure are like 10 complexity a piece there we go i just realized this creation doesn't have steering and also my steering controls are hooked into some of these now the great thing about the trail maker building system compared to scrap mechanic is if i want to adjust all the settings on these steering hinges i can i can just easily mass select all of them and uh delete the inputs and the same thing with the suspension i can select all of the suspension and just control the stiffness and damping all at once rather than having to do it individually like i would in scrap mechanic but as far as a vehicle that goes straight uh it's working pretty well right now so the best way i think to make a turning system for this vehicle is to just put a hinge in the middle and this is another big plus about trail makers is um it is so much easier to modify creations that you've already built like just splitting this creation in half and having it not be destroyed that'd be a much bigger ordeal in scrap mechanic there we go just added the steering hinge in there so now we technically have steering all right so right now it feels like the suspension is too stiff so thankfully it is super easy to adjust all of the stiffness let's just go down to what does zero look like okay all right well all right now 
This one actually has the opposite problem that the scrap mechanic one had. This one is too thin by default. You know what? We need more weight because they are not they are not compressing enough. Fortunately, we have parts specifically made to add weight. All right, I'm seeing a little bit more compression now. Oh, that looks nice though, doesn't it? Uh, uh, okay, well. That went from nice to not very nice very quickly. Let me put the damping way up. I always get confused about damping on which direction is which, but I think damping means it's gonna be less bouncy, right? It dampens the bounce more with higher damp. I mean, that felt better. I still feel like we're not heavy enough. Look at the lack of compression on these. All right, I've added a lot more weight to this and I'm starting to feel it a little bit in the transitions from spoke to spoke. Oh, this actually isn't feeling too bad right now. Doesn't have the best turning radius. There we go. That's a little bit better. Let's take a look here. Let's try to watch this compression. You know, it's interesting. I wasn't expecting trail makers to be that different than scrap mechanic, but it really is. This is a very different experience. I don't feel as satisfied watching this one. The compression, I mean, there is the issue of like, there's just more spoke-like wheels rather than pads. Oh, I think the complexity is also giving it some issues. So let's head over to the uh, really uneven rocks over here rather than just having a single ledge. Maybe this will have a different experience. All right, here we go. Let's do some off-roading. Wait, wait, what? 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 This is fine. This is gonna solve two issues simultaneously. One issue is apparently my wheels are too close to the body. And the other issue that we've already had is uh, we're a little bit too narrow anyway. So if I just move these away a little bit and then just reattach them with an extra block, they should add a little bit more stability to this thing. I say as they wildly shake back and forth right in front of my face. Oh no, it tips over so easy though. Oh, well, we're upside down now. Hey, this is just kind of like the uh, like the Instruments of Destruction one. Yeah, we're, we've destroyed so much of this. That is another big difference with Trail Makers is that Trail Makers actually has destructible creations. Instruments of Destruction has an option, but it is not a default. It is not what the game was really uh, designed for. Man, this is the lowest amount of stiffness on these uh, suspension, and it still feels like it's very stiff and bouncy. Like I do not feel I do not feel like these are hugging the terrain nearly as much as uh, the scrap mechanic ones that were. This is, this feels so much more terrible. <laughs> All right, well, there is one more change I do want to try to make, and that is just reducing the amount of suspension. Uh, we will then be within the original build limits, and maybe it'll just be safer. All right, there we go. The wheels are much smaller, much less suspension. And it actually does remind me a lot more. It does. Oh, but we have that issue. Now that I'm a, a lot shorter, I need to be less long. All right, let's see how these wheels look now. Still doesn't feel like a lot of compression, but I can see it working. It's just not working very well, all things considered. Yeah, this vehicle is just bad. Wow. Oh, the terrain is a little bit more extreme here. Here, let's go back to the start and see what this feels like on just the original ledge. All right, here we go. This ledge seems a lot more formidable now. You know what? Maybe this is a better approach over here to start off with. Then we can try the really, uh, the really tough part. Okay, here we go. All right, I'm seeing the compression now. It's a little bit more satisfying actually with this orientation um, or the size of wheel. I think the wheels was just maybe too big before, a little bit too ambitious. This is feeling a little bit better. This is definitely an improvement. Yeah, I think the stack suspension was just a bad idea. Suspension, just just one at a time. Okay, here it goes. That looks good. Oh, oh, it's doing the scrap mechanic thing. Yeah, this is feeling so much more like scrap mechanic now. Look at that. Oh, it worked though. All right, you know what? I think, this, I think this, it's a good thing I tried with the fewer suspension. I think this is starting to feel like it's supposed to feel now. It does still feel a little bit bouncier, surprisingly. You know what? Let me try the uh, opposite end on the on the dampening, just, just in case. Just in case it makes a big difference. I don't know. Oh, it, it, does, it does bounce a little bit. Let's see how going up feels. Hmm. You know, and actually it might be it might be better in this uh, with this setting. All right, one final test on the ledge. Oh, I don't know. Is it is it worse here? It seems to not be able to grab on as much. Oh, and it's flipping us over. Oh, almost. Wow, that did it did make it worse. I think. Here, let's just do a. I, I need to I need to confirm if that actually made it worse or if maybe I just got lucky the first time. Same spot, but now damping all the way back up. Oh, that does feel better. Oh. Come on. I saw it almost had it that first try. There it goes. Oh, so close. 
You know what? I th it does feel better. It feels like it, it hugs a little bit more with the damping all the way up. So which one of these versions do you think functioned the best? Uh, the Instruments of Destruction one, if you didn't see that one, I'll actually leave a link down in the description because I did not actually uh, include that in this video since that one was already from another video. But the Instruments of Destruction one, the Scrap Mechanic one, or this Trailmakers one. Let me know your thoughts on what you think was the optimal performer. Uh, me personally, I feel like the, I feel like the Scrap Mechanic one was the most enjoyable one to drive around. I don't know. I felt like that was a little bit more satisfying for some reason. I feel like you could see the effect of it just a lot better than either of the other games, but um, they all did have surprisingly different experiences. So I'm curious to see what you guys say down in the comments below. If you guys have any other, other ideas on stuff you'd like to see me compare between games, I think that could be kind of a fun thing. So let me know if, uh, if there's anything else you'd like to see as far as that goes. If you enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy some more that you can find right here on the end screen. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.